welcome back to my channel so for today's video i wanted to do something a little different just give makeup a little break and do a lifestyle kind of video because honestly lifestyle videos everyone can relate to makeup videos not everyone well they should but they that's just the reality of it so i got a question on instagram asking how to deal with negative people or how to remove negative people out of your life and honestly that is a question i wondered all throughout high school and now that i'm done high school i've learned a lot so why not come and just share my wisdom um so yeah i thought this was a really great idea to film and talk to you guys about because i've been through it everyone goes through the situation and i would just love to share my experience and my tips and tricks on <laughs> how to get rid of those people and kick them out so uh let's just get right into it i had a dream we were sipping a whiskey need i used for the hourly and i was high enough there's three things that you should really look out for in people that you might think that they're not so good so first their commitment whether that's relationship or friendships you have to know their commitment and intentions two the people the kind of people that they are well, that's kind of vague, but like that can include who they talk about, who they hate, who their friends are, who their friends were in the past, things like that. And three, whether they are supportive. These three things are honestly the biggest questions you should be asking in any kind of relationship, whether that's family, friends, anyone. So first is whether they're committed or not. I know it's really really hard to tell in the beginning because at first everyone is great and nice and they love you and they want to give you all of their attention and I'm not saying just relationship wise but that's just reality of any kind of relationship it's like a like how they say it's a chewing gum at first it's it's like a gum at first it's really sweet and nice and flavorful but eventually it loses its flavor you don't want that in a relationship because even if that happens you still want to enjoy chewing the gum even if it has lost its flavor so first you need to look out for the kind of person that they are if they are a really committed person how many friends did they have before you are they loyal are they the type of person that will have friendship with somebody for five years three years two years or they just continuously just change friends and are really casual if you're a really casual type of person and you don't really like to hold on to that many people in your life then they might be really great for you but that can also go bad in many ways because the people that constantly change their friends and leave their past friends most likely carry a lot of drama with them and a lot of gossip and negativity basically so you want to look out for those kind of things if they have really long distance friends or if they have really long relationships or something that will prove that they're the type of person that are there to stay you know in moments where i'm like i've always been there for this person and now that i need somebody i have no one a few weeks ago i was going through a really difficult time and i was dealing with one of the worst moments in my life and there were some people that were really great and really there for me and then there were some who just weren't who just backed out and honestly I just didn't even feel like sharing with them anything anymore so there are times where there are gonna be people that you will realize that some are just great and will always be there for you the way you're there for them and some will just chicken out and leave to be honest so you really need to know you need to think if there has been times where you needed your friends if they've been there if they've been there the way you've always been there for them or whether they just had an excuse or something whether they were approachable if they're not approachable what kind of friend are they are they the type of friend that you just hang out with casually go shopping or whatever but they're not really the vulnerable open up to kind of friends and they just make you feel sad when you want to talk to them but you cannot because that's just not the kind of person that they are or if they are actually really supportive and vulnerable with you so you really need to know the kind of people that you surround yourself with that is my number one tip if you're in high school if you're i don't know wherever you are you should know the kind of person that you're dealing with because life is short and you don't want to waste it on people that are not going to be there for you not going to support you not going to lift your spirits this is my motto in life i 
it's not just the people, it's everything. You should do something every day that's going to put you forward. So if there's people that are dragging you down, making you feel sad, always fighting or anything, you need to just let it go. You need to work on yourself, you need to build yourself because at the end of the day, people are not going to put you up. You are your own, like, even your family is not going to be there to make you successful. It's you. So you need to keep your mental and physical self happy. And if there's people around you that are just not doing that for you, instead they're just bringing you down, then you just, you should know that it's not the end of the world and you can let those people go. I know I've, I've been there, honestly, where I was like, oh, if I let... If I let these friends go, I have no one, I have no, or if I let this person go, I'll have nobody, I'll have no friends. But you know what? Sometimes you need some you time. Sometimes it's okay to be alone because would you rather always be hurting or would you rather hurt for a bit and then move on? The person that you're, the people, group of people, or the person that you're with, how is their energy around other people? Do other people see them as really negative or rude or like just really antisocial or whether they're really gossipy about another person or another group you need to know those things because if they are that way about if they're saying those kind of things about somebody else they're most likely saying those things about you and even if they're not they probably will because it's just human nature everyone is like that everyone gossips but people who gossip about other people they're most likely gossiping about you too so you need to know because I've been there, I've had friends that would make fun of other friends um, or other people actually and I used to just laugh it off and later realized that I was one of those people being made fun of. So you really need to be smart about that. There's going to be a lot of people that are going to come into your life and they're either going to be a lesson or a blessing. Um, that's, I know, very cliche but it is one of the truest most honest phrases I've ever heard. It is so true that I've have a, I have a lot of people in my life that are a blessing, my friends, my family. Um, some friends from high school, I'm actually still in touch with them and they're so great. But some, I just knew that I just had to let go. And I'm glad I did because it was really affecting me. It was really just a horrible time in my life and nobody has to go through that. So. Here I am telling you how to, that honestly it is okay to be alone or whatever it is because you don't need that kind of bullshit in your life to be honest. It's straight up, you don't need that kind of bullshit. If people are negative, they're bringing you down, you just, you just gotta let go. You're just gonna say, no, peace out, you need to do. So, I really hope, I really hope this video helped you guys or helped you just highlight some of the things that you have been noticing in other people but you just heard it from someone else and because honestly I would I would have liked to hear that this person in your life is negative, they're bringing you down, um, they are always pushing you away, making you feel sad and left out and just lonely even when you're with them. I wish I heard those words of advice. I might have left the people that were hurting me sooner. I wish. But I didn't and I learned the hard way but here I am telling you that it doesn't have to be the hard way. If you know that somebody's not good for you, you just, you just have to let go. Because honestly, at the end of the day, all you have is you. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and maybe it could change the course of your situation, the course of your life. And if it has, please leave me a comment below telling me if you're feeling better, if whatever it was is gone or you're still dealing with it and let me know what kind of videos you guys would like me to make next there is something a little off with this person your intuition is almost so always right, almost always right and I never believed in it but now I do if I feel that if I feel that somebody is not good or there's something off with them or something it's not just me having trust issues or whatever, it's most likely true because you should have a good vibe with people. The vibe is key. If you have a good vibe, if you know that you, got, you are going to get along, you're golden. And like this video, if you, if, 
I hope you guys in any shape, way or form. Don't forget to follow my Instagram and my Snapchat and also subscribe. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.